Hey gang, how we doing? Uh, what I got going on today, I latched onto my father-in-law's trailer to uh, go and run a load of wood. <clears throat> and a few minutes after connecting, uh, the brake controller was giving me a message um, saying output shortage, um, no brakes. So we'll uh, do a little bit of diagnosing. Plus this thing has scotch locks on it. Most all damn trailers come with scotch locks, and they're the most ignorant invention ever made. They had to have been made up by a uh, company that manufactures wiring, so you can screw your wiring up and buy more wire from them. But I will show you this the absolute best that I can, so bear with me. I don't know how well you can see or read that, but it's uh, saying warning, output short, no brakes. So, I'll uh, set you guys where you're not staring up my nose, seeing if I got any goodies. <laughs> So, basically the way I always do all this is you start at the farthest point and try to do a process of elimination, basically. Um, like I said, this thing has scotch locks on it as well, and that's just the absolute worst thing that you can do. <clears throat> the reason why is because it leaves the wiring vulnerable. You have to pierce the insulation on the wiring, which then allows moisture to get in there, which will then in part cause corrosion and eventually cause your electrical connection to fail. Uh. <clears throat> but, like I was saying, uh, doing the process of elimination, I've already went across to the other side and cut the wiring that goes to the magnets inside of the drum which activates the trailer brakes um, I've done that with both right side front and rear uh, brake controller still reading the same thing so now we got to make sure the uh, wiring that runs through the axle tube itself maybe isn't rubbed on something and shorted out so the best way to go about doing all this is to not throw your cutters on the ground <clears throat> but, let's see if I can contort myself a little better to get down in here. Basically what we're going to try to do first is I need to cut the wiring that goes through the housing, but I'm not in a position where I can hold the phone to record, but yet also show you guys what I need to show. But <clears throat> Hopefully you can see this. Uh, you always want to just cut one wire at a time. And like I said, I'm going to cut the one first that is running across the actual housing because they can short out inside the axle 
and obviously on a visual inspection you cannot tell because you can't see it. Okay, so we have got the rear axle now severed, isolated. Now I got to go back up to the truck and I will check the controller again and we'll uh, see if it shows positive results or if it's still going to tell me the same, same message that there's an error and if that's the case then I will cut the wiring here on this wheel that goes into this brake, brake magnet and see what kind of results that yields. Um, and if that's nothing then I'll move to the front axle here on the left cut the wiring that goes across the axle to the right side see what that offers and then I'll cut this magnet and if I still have an issue from that point then it's from the axle all the way up to the seven-way plug where it connects to the truck so still got some investigating and looking to do but also I will touch back on what I was talking about with the scotch lock connectors and what I like to replace them with <clears throat> uh, I like to use they're called heat shrinkable butt connectors and these things are actually really cool and the reason they are is because once you've crimped these and you always have to be careful not to puncture or damage the outer jacket but what you do with them once you've got them crimped and your wire is secure and you've pull tested it you take a heat source heat these up and they've got a sealant in them and this also shrinks down and closes in against the insulation on the wire so you never have to worry about moisture or contamination getting in there and uh, starting to corrode all the wiring. Um, I've got the couple of scotch locks that I pulled off a little bit ago. And uh, let's see if we can rig something up. All right, I reckon that's going to have to be good enough. So, we have these scotch locks. I don't know if you can see it very well because I'm in like a very poorly lit angle of the sun. But, you have these scotch lock connectors. And what they do... What they do is you've got one solid wire that runs across through it and basically this thing has a spade in it and it will, you probably ain't going to be able to see this very good, but inside of it it's got this little spade right here and whenever you take and collapse this down and squeeze it and close this little flap, it pierces the insulation on the wiring which gives it its conductive path. The bad thing about these are, is once you've pierced the insulation on that wiring, you've now caused it to be susceptible to the elements outside, which corrosion is the worst thing for wiring. Um, but, yeah, I never have liked these things, in my opinion. They need to be gotten rid of. They shouldn't even exist. But that's, that's the deal. That's why. <clears throat> because they compromise the integrity of your electrical circuit. So, and like I said, I like to always put them shrinkable butt connectors on there, heat shrinkable butt connectors, because they are awesome. But I'm going to continue on trying to diagnose some of this thing, and once I uh, come to a conclusion, I'll fire this thing back up. I have good news. The uh, I cut another one a set of the wires, and... 
the old brake controller is uh, nice and happy now. It's a uh, reading connection ready for uh, operation. So I'm going to go back here and I'll show you where it was at. Unfortunately, this was uh, the next to the last set of wires that could be cut. But, like I said before, that doesn't matter to me because I was going to take and cut all of them and refix the connections anyway because of them stupid scotch locks. But, where the problem is... get my communication back and to make the brake controller happy I had to cut the wires where they feed in through this front axle um, and go all the way across to the other side so with that being the case basically what this what this translates to is the wiring that's going across going along the inside of the axle is where the problem is so some guys are in my opinion kind of worthless and lazy and they just run it on the outside and zip tie the heck out of it and be happy with it but unfortunately I I'm not one of those people I can't talk myself into doing that doesn't matter how how much more of a challenge it is to do it the right way best off just do it the right way so I uh, want to go ahead and get everything else all set up and taken care of, and then we'll bring y'all back on board.
Okay, so I'm finally done with this trailer. I uh, show you kind of what the final product is like. Um, here's uh, where I done the heat shrink butt connectors, and I fed the uh, new wiring all throughout the axle tube to the other side and got it connected and secured. And uh, I've got this one secured up. And I also went a step above and uh, put a protective tubing or uh, it's a hose, not wire loom, but I've got it protected all the way up. That way I don't have to worry about it uh, rubbing on the frame, causing any issues. And the uh, same thing's been done back here on the back. It's, it's all the same. But that's it. It uh, was a fairly simple fix. At least it wasn't the wiring that goes to the magnets on the back side of the backing plate, or it wasn't a magnet itself shortened. So it took uh, way longer than I'd like for it to, but that's the story of my life anymore. But there you go. All right. Well, we got the trailer wrapped up. Um, wiring's all replaced and taken care of. I've got uh, the old wiring here to, I guess, try to show the best I can um, where that wiring had rubbed and shorted out inside the axle tubing. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see a little bit of the frayed edging of the wiring. Uh, the insulation's been all worn down. So, but another adventure successfully completed. Um, if you got any questions or comments, um, hit me up. Um, if you liked it, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.